Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Branch of uh, SportsTalk365.com. And then I want to talk about a, uh, the current situation with the uh, Washington football team. And that's concerning uh, their quarterback, Dwayne Haskins. Um, as you know, as many of you already know yesterday, the uh, Washington football team had a lot of riding on the line yesterday. A lot was at stake, you know, the uh, playoff situation. Yeah, a win yesterday puts them in, gives them the NFC West title, NFC East title, um, playoff berth. Um, pretty much eliminated the Cowboys and the Eagles. But after the well, last yesterday's performance, they, uh, they had a, it didn't go as planned. Dwayne Haskins had a bad game. He uh, threw for two interceptions, a little over 100 yards passing, I believe. And it was benched once again. I think for the second time this season, if a result of a, uh, and the, the guy, the backup guy, backup QB guy that came in the game, uh, not even, I don't remember his name off, off the top of my head right now. Um, they still lost the game by score of 20 to 13. Um, I just say all that to say that I just believe that uh, Dwayne Haskins is fell into a bad situation with by going to the Washington football team. The team never really. The organization never really fully embraced him as to becoming the starter, as a guy that they can bail going forward as a franchise quarterback, a guy that can lean on during tough times. He never really did committed to that. And as you see that now, you see it what you saw it last year with um Jay Gruden. Um then now you see in the game with Ron Rivera. Jay Gruden drafted him only because the owner wanted him. And the report, the reports, what the reports were saying was that the owners, well, Dan Snyder, wanted Haskins because he went to school with his um, one of his kids in high school. And Jay Groom was just wasn't feeling that, and didn't really like the kid from the start. But he was overruled by um, Dan Snyder, and he drafted him. Um, you see, and he go Jay, um, Jay Groom gets great. Jay Groom gets fired. In comes Ron Rivera. Um, Ron Rivera gives him a chance, I believe, to, to earn a job, give him a captain status, and you know, it didn't work out. It's not working out. Um, it just, I just think he's not ready to lead the NFL franchise, man. Um, we just saw some things that, you know, questionable, and you know, and that goes back to his uh, maturity, you know. Um, Haskins, you know, um, violated the uh, lead COVID-19 pro protocols a week ago. I'm not going to really get into the incident, but he violated them. He got fined, got his captain status removed. But um, I think, you know, Ron Rivera never really, you know, embraced, fully embraced Dwayne Haskins as a starter. Um, and, and can you blame him? Um, no, but usually with unless it's an elite talent like an Aaron Rodgers or or Drew Brees or Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes, the chances of of a head coach sticking with a quarterback with a with a quarterback that he never selected are very slim. And Dwayne Haskins, you know, didn't really you know never was given the chance to develop. He never, you know, the, the organization never invested in his talents as a quarterback. He never did. Um, you see that. You, know, you see that now. You know, they never really was sold on it from the start. Ron Rivera wasn't, and Jay Gruden wasn't. Um, and I say all of that to say this might not, this might be unpopular to to, to a lot of y'all, and it probably is. Um, I usually don't say this a lot. Well, in regards to uh, Ed Adley's coming out of college, but I just felt like um, looking at it now, Dwayne Haskins should have stayed in the uh, college another year at Ohio State. And that's, you know, I'm just being honest. I'm just, I'm just not, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm the one that I'm always for Adley's leaving school early if they want to. If they feel like they're ready to go for it. But Dwayne Haskins doesn't look like he was ready to leave the college the situation, leave on um, college to go to become a uh, a franchise quarterback for the, in the National Football League. Um, even his coach said it. You know, Irvin Ma said it a while back on the herd. He was saying that Hash is not ready to um, become an NFL uh, franchise quarterback and get a sustained college. And, that, and that's true, you know, because the, the year that he was drafted, 
the thoughts coming out of college were that the Giants was going to take him. And he didn't. It was a smoke screen. And then this guy decided to go with Daniel Jones. And there's a lot of outrage on, um, on on social media about it being, you know, right, white privilege, you know, racial bias to the quarter black quarterback, this and that. It just and that it's looking like, you know, Dane the Giants was right. Dane Jones, you know, he, he's he's done a better job compared to uh, Dwayne Haskins. Um, you know, um, the the Giants are more committed to uh, building around him compared to the Washington Football Team. The team is uh, very uh, limited. Oh, give me a break. Let me take a break. Team is a uh, very limited on uh, offense. Um, not really creative on their plays. They, um, outside of uh, Tony Gibson and uh, Crowder, the wide receiver that's very much. Not a whole lot they can do on that, on that football team or on the offense side of football. And I just felt like Haskins should have stayed in that a year at Ohio State. He would have came out with, um, with a better quarterback class with uh, Herbert, Burrow, Tua, Hurts, Jalen Hurts, um, Jordan Love. I just think another year to develop, another year to work on this, this craft. I mean, what I seen in college, man, it was showing me that I know that this guy he can play at the next level. He just need another year of development, man. Another year to mature, grow, um, and then get better as a as a passer. Cause I think he can throw it from the pocket, man. Is he the arm strain ain't the issue? It's just that you know, you go into a system where they're gonna they're ready to invest in you and build. I don't see that with the Washington football team, you know. Now, and, and then the top of that, that 2019, uh, yeah, the 2019 draft just wasn't a good quarterback class in my opinion. Cause you had, I believe it was, Colin Murray went first, Daniel Jones, and then him, then uh, Haskins. And I just think that he would have went with a, he would have stayed another year, continue to build up his draft style, continue to put up the big numbers. He would have went, he probably could have went behind. Um, uh, Joe Burrow, or possibly even the first, because he can play. I think he's a better. I think he's a, he could be a better. I think he, if in the right situation, he could be a better throw of the football than uh, Joe Burrow, I believe. But um, I just think that you know, Webbing this kid. I mean, the situation. I don't know all the situation with his family and all. You know, um, maybe he had to go for the draft. You know, a lot of these guys come from these uh, rough environments. And even if they're not ready or they're not ready to go or not, they're gonna go in the draft. They're gonna um, become. They're gonna um, put their names in for the draft. But um, the Wayne Hassis man is unfortunate, man. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, this ain't the end of the road for him. Hopefully, man, it, it, he could get moved to trade to a team that wants to develop him. Be invested in him. We come in as a backup, learn a good system, come in when needed to, and, and build up his resume. Because right now, his, his resume is trash. You know, and that's because he went to a franchise that wasn't not fully committed to him. Um, and I just believe that if he would have stayed another year in college, man, it's, I know it's unpopular to, to a lot of y'all, especially black folks. Black guys in the media, you know, it's, you know, we think the NCAA, NCAA is, you know, the, the, the Satan himself and oppression and, and all that. And it, it, it's rightfully right. You know, it, I got my own spin on the NCAA, what they do with the, the players and all and that. But sometimes, bro, some guys in the NFL, especially some guys, you just stay in college, man, and develop, continue to build a work on their skill set. And that, that's that. I think another year would have benefited Dwayne Haskins because the guy has the potential to be a um, big time quarterback. We saw it in um oh shoot. Man, I just got the, the the news right now that he got waived. So there it is, man. You know, you get the opportunity. He just got waived. Just got the the, the notification to Washington football team just waived him. But um that is, you know, get the opportunity, get picked up by another team that was committed to him, man, and developed. 
or go to the XFL next year when it opens back up. But um, that's all I got for you for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Um, if you like to uh, check out more interesting videos on these uh, type of uh, type of uh, topics, check out my uh, general discussion uh, playlist. Um, give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel on this um, this topic. Do you think Dwayne Haskins should have benefited from uh, staying in college another year at Ohio State? Now that he has been waived by the Washington football team, do you think uh, where, where are some places that you think he could uh, go and develop as a as a passer, as a leader of an NFL franchise? In the description box below, check out uh, sportstalk365.com forward slash uh, NFL for latest content on National Football League. Have a blessed day. Peace. Happy New Year, too.